the right to peaceful protest, to demonstrate one's views, to be heard. Potentially under threat in proposed legislation containing a range of new powers for the police. Overall, the bill has many elements of it which are quite authoritarian. They defer to senior police officers on judgments as to whether something can be considered uh, criminal, and that particularly sits in the part of the bill which deals with protest. So if protests are considered to be causing serious annoyance or disruptive or causing a disturbance, it can be up to senior police officers to decide that that protest is then not allowed to continue to go ahead. Here's why it matters. Scenes on the weekend of women being manhandled by police officers while attending a vigil in memory of a young woman murdered, allegedly, by a police officer. The police say the vigil was unlawful under pandemic restrictions and the head of the Metropolitan Force, Cressida Dick, has resisted calls for her to resign. Civil liberties groups are calling for a rethink of the planned policing bill. Whilst this bill might be held up as containing measures to address violence against women and girls, in reality it lays out measures which undermine our right to hold power to account. And I think we can see how important it is to be able to hold power to account and to be able to scrutinise and contain the use of state power in the context of the weekend. In sorrow and in anger, women gathered first at Clapham Common in London, where 33-year-old Sarah Everard disappeared on March the 3rd, and then outside police headquarters and Parliament. With cries of, kill the bill, they formed an emotive backdrop to Parliament's debate. Opposition parties have echoed campaigners' concerns that the policing bill is deeply imbalanced. Apart from unwarranted curbs on protest, for instance, it does too little to protect women, while it does increase criminal sanctions for defacing statues and memorials. There'll be longer jail terms, they say, for vandalism than for rape. Mr Speaker, let me turn to this weekend's events. This government backs our police in fighting crime and keeping the public safe. But in the interests of providing greater assurance and ensuring public confidence, I have asked Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary to conduct a full independent lessons learned review. The government says it's taking a wide range of steps necessary to keep people safe. Despite some libertarian concerns among its own MPs, a large parliamentary majority will likely ensure the bill is passed. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.